today's MacBook Air. What did they do to you, little MacBook? Show me where they hurt you. Oh, God. What did they do to you? Look at this. Can you even count everything that's broken on here? So the LCD connector doesn't just look liquid damaged. This looks like soot. So you notice how these connectors are typically kind of goldish in color? They look like this. And when the pin burns off, it burns, but you don't have this shooting out of discoloration across the entire connector. That's, com that's new to me. Even the diode has a burned pad. The capacitors are totally burned. This would probably just get knocked off the board. Okay, maybe not. These resistors are barely held on. I don't know. What's going on over here? Wow. So many points that are totally broken. So much stuff to remove and start over. This board is... And we do that like this. So we surround it in Amtec NC559 Flux. All right, we're going to remove this nasty LCD connector, and we're going to replace it with a nice, happy, new little LCD connector. Let's get this old, mean LCD connector off of the motherboard. There we go. Oh, it seems like the pads for sending backlight to the screen appear to be sad. Well, that's fine. It seems like we could just add a little bit of flux and make those some happy pads again. Very good. So we're going to take that nasty old lead-free solder, and we're going to add some happy little leaded solder. We're going to wick it all off. Look at that nice, happily wicked solder. Just going to remove all that cancer from this board. No more cancer. Beautiful. And we're just going to go into the affected area, and as you can see, these two pads here are completely ripped off of the board, but that's fine because we can run a little jumper wire. So I'm just going to scrape back and forth, back and forth, and here we go. There we go. We're just going to reveal that backlight trace, and then we'll be able to run a happy little jumper wire to it. But we'll do that towards the end. We still have quite a few components to remove. This little capacitor doesn't make me happy. It's got to go. This diode probably still works, but it's got to go. And look at that. Wow. The backlight output pad for the diode is com almost completely invisible. I've never seen that before. I've never seen the pad for the diode actually corroded. It's like that. This is some crazy damage. Somebody must have really not liked this little MacBook. That's okay, little MacBook. We're going to make you happy again. Next up, we're going to remove these unhappy, mean old capacitors over here. These are the capacitors that store the voltage for backlight output after the LED driver's done switching. And you've got to go. And after that, we've also got this capacitor, this other capacitor, the transistor that sends the power from the backlight fuse to the circuit, the backlight fuse, the two resistors that tell the trans backlight uh, transistor to turn on, the other. and what the heck, the PP3V42 circuit is also corroded, and the PP3V42 inrush limiter is corroded, and the PP3V42 capacitor is corroded. And I think there was a diode over there that I probably just ripped off the board, but that's fine. We're going to put a nice, fresh, new diode over there in its place. It'll be a happier, gentler diode. A diode that didn't have any liquid damage. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. If they're fixable, they're fixable. And if they're not fixable, we give them to Paul until they are fixable. Okay, we're just going to scrape away all that nasty, rusty corrosion. And the flux that I put on the board, combined with the flux inside the solder, combined with the scraping motion, is going to remove a lot of that junk. It's going to pop right off, and it's going to make our board... Nice and clean. Check out what happens when we go over the board again with our Gootwick, available on store.rossmangroup.com. Those solder pads can't wait to get some nice new fresh solder. That's right, little MacBook. Look at that. Look at that. That pad for that capacitor that once wasn't, once is again. Beautiful.
Now we're going to go over to the PP3V42 circuit. The PP3V42 circuit is responsible for creating PP3V42. That's the power rail required for the machine to turn on, for the SMC to turn on, for the charger to turn on, for everything to work. And unfortunately, it looks like this board has an abused little PP3V42 circuit, but that's fine. We're going to take that little abused PP3V42 circuit and make it happy again. There we go. Look at you. Just going to scrape away all the junk in that pad. Going to make you a happy little board. Now, you may notice that we have a, what looks to be a little bit of a broken probe point over here. But that's no problem for us. You can just fix that with a little bit of solder. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It appears that that is completely broken. So that's not going to conduct. And that's where the little diode is going to go to ground to pull the voltage on the gate of the inrush limiter down. As you can see when I touch the board, yikes. So this, this board is kind of peeling like leprosy. This board's got some leprosy going on. So we have to be very careful with our scraping now. Who hurt you, little MacBook? Was it Tim Cook? I bet it was Tim Cook. That bastard never conformal coated you. He didn't even cover you in tape or put spill holes in you. I'm sorry, little MacBook. I'm sorry Tim Cook did this to you. I'm sorry that Tim Cook hurt you. All right, we've got a happy little jumper put in place there. And that little jumper is going to allow our diode to speak to the resistor. It's going to act as a little voltage divider, which is going to open up this inrush limiter and allow 16 volts through to my computer. So now we're just going to move this wire back and forth, back and forth, just like the third or fifth track on Leah's AJ nothing but a number. Back, back, forth, forth. Mm-hmm. Back, back, forth, forth. All right, we give that section a happy little cleaning. Now we're going to put on a new LCD connector. I'm just going to grab one from here and solder it on. Look at this board. Look at this abomination. Able to play Battlefield on this at a 300 FPS. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to drag solder like that. Look at all those beautiful, happy little pins. I'm done with the professional sounding shilling. It started out as a joke on a couple of people on YouTube that will cram two or three ads into one video, but it kind of got carried away, so. Shh. I haven't tried a Pixel 2 XL phone. Is the Pixel the phone where they made fun of Apple for removing the headphone jack and then simultaneously remove the headphone jack? Because I'm, I'm not good at keeping up with all the latest phones and whatnot. Because I know that there was one jackass manufacturer that got rid of the headphone jack while simultaneously making fun of Apple for getting rid of the headphone jack. Oh god, yeah, screw them. If you don't have a headphone jack, I just can't take you seriously. But the thing is, I'll, let's say I'm on the subway, I'll be editing video on my laptop, but then I'll switch over to my phone when it's time to switch trains or something. So I'm constantly moving back and forth, my headphones, between my laptop and my phone. Which is easy when there's a plug, but a pain in the, real royal pain in the ass if I have to unpair and repair shit every time. That's not happening. So, yeah, if you, you're not selling me a product without a headphone jack, unless it's, like, free. I'll deal with it if it's free. Yeah, screw that. That's a piece of... You gotta be really damn tone deaf to make fun of Apple for something and then do the exact same thing that you're making fun of Apple for. Okay, let's get that diode slid into place. Wow, look at how that diode just popped into place. That was beautiful. This board's never gonna fan spin again Cause corroded pads have got no conductivity Because there is a backlight. <laughs> Holy shit. Look, this board is giving a backlight. 
I can't believe this piece of shit actually works. I'm going to put this through the ultrasonic cleaner just so that you can see what it looks like when it's clean. And after this board is done going through the ultrasonic cleaner, I think the cleaner is going to need new water. Now we can take a happy little look at what this board looks like after the ultrasonic cleaner. Remember what it looked like before? Well, this is what it looks like now. That's a happy little backlight output diode, happy little backlight output capacitor, happy little set of jumper wires for the burned out section of the board, happy little transistor to turn on the backlight circuit, another happy little transistor, it's a happy little backlight fuse, that's our PP3V42 circuit, look at that. You can see that we've got our nice little jumper wire over here because there was a hole in the board in that section. I got a nice jumper wire connected over there. We got our backlight diode on over here. Let's just remove that little excess solder ball. Get out of there. Quality control, baby. Got our DC input transistor. It allows a DC in to go to the PP3V42 circuit. Got our two inrush limit resistors there. And that's that. Look at how pretty this looks. The board has leprosy. You can see everything coming up from it. As soon as you touch it, it just comes right off. Oh. Hmm? Is that salt water or something? It looked like a house fire because there was a, a black layer of soot over everything. Every time I removed a component, I had to scrape black soot off of the pads. Look at that. That's quality. It's, this is a work of art. I don't even want to give this board back to the customer. I kind of want to hang it on my wall. Do any of you ever fix boards where you don't want to give it back to the customer? You'd want to just kind of hang it on the wall so you have it there? Jessa Jones does that. She likes to make boards her pets. I'd like this board to be my pet. We were able to re scrape away where that trace was broken and reattach it to the resistor. Oh, that's a, that's a cluster frack right there. Wow. That poor little MacBook. That, that's beautiful. Look at that. It looks like a little love triangle. This board looks like I would really like to be dead. Board, you're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. Look at it. This works. That is my work of art. That is the backlight output diode going to a backlight output capacitor going to the actual backlight output on the LCD. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. So I have another board here. It's a touch bar, missing PM Sleep S5L. And uh, 